Hi, I'm Paul from the Envision Maker Studio. Today we'll be going over the Upmini 3D printers and the timer system on 3D printers in the Maker Studio. In order to use these printers, you will first need to watch this tutorial and complete a short test. Afterwards, you can access the machines using the card reader. Plug in your USB in order to access your files. Make sure that your file is in STL format. After signing in, the machine will automatically open the Tier Time Up Mini software. From here, click up on the left side of the screen. Click on the cross icon. Select the left box to add a 3D model. Select your file from your USB folder and click open. Your 3D model should appear on the screen. You can modify the size, position, and orientation of the model by using the tools on the top right. When you are satisfied, click Print. The program will allow you to alter a few settings. The two most important settings are infill, the density of the piece, and resolution, which determines the thickness of extruded filament. These two factors contribute to the overall quality of your piece and affect how long your print will take. Greater infill density and finer resolution quality results in longer prints. Lowering either of these two factors reduces the time of your print. When you are satisfied with your settings, click Preview to get an estimate of how long your print is going to take. After a few moments, the estimate will pop up in the middle of the screen. Enter this time, rounding up to the nearest interval of 15 minutes on the timer. Prints can run for a maximum of 5 hours. If you would like to print beyond this time, approval from a supervisor is required. Click Submit to turn on the 3D printer. After the 3D printer is turned on, click Initialize. The initialization process will take about one minute. Click Print. This begins the heating process. After the extruder has heated to the required temperature, the print will begin. The Upmini uses PLA, which has a high heat tolerance and is able to withstand a lot of pressure. This material is not very malleable, and contorting the material causes it to break. After your print is completed, you can remove the print by using one of the putty knives at the rework station. Now you're ready to get printing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.